Hello, welcome to another video. Today what I want to show you is how to get Starnet V2 inside of Cyril. Um, it's important to know that it is not possible to do with Cyril 1.0.6, which is the version out right now. But it is possible to do in the 1.1.0 unstable developer version, as I have opened here. The developer version, how to download it, I've created a video about it already. And you can find it in the top right corner. I'll try and link it. Um, and once you have it, the developer version, you can come back to this video. And then we'll go over how to get started. So, the first thing you want to do after that you have downloaded the serial developer version is to download the Starnet. So what you need to do is to go to this website, which I've linked in the description, and then open up and then download the command line tool. And depending on your operating depending on your operating system, it's going to be Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. For me, it's Windows, so I'll download that one, and that's going to download a zip file. After the zip is done downloading, we can open it by double clicking. Um, for me, it's opening the zip extractor, but one in Windows, the built in one in Windows, or any other one should work fine. And we're going to extract in and then go to a directory you know has, uh, you know, uh, you can find back basically. So for me, it's going to be my D, uh, D drive, and then press OK because it should work fine. And then after that's done, we can go to here and find it right here. And there it is, Starnet++. We can test it out just to make sure it's working. So for example, the RGB test, just to run that. And as you can see, it is now going through and finishing a Starnet. Now, I would suggest doing this just to make sure that Starnet itself is working. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. So, the next thing we need to do is to go into Serial and tell it where Starnet is. So we go back into the developer version, go to the triple uh, bar thingy, preferences, and then it's probably going to be here, but you need to go to miscellaneous, and then tell it where the Starnet is. So for me, it's, it's here, or order, other, and then on other, you can go and direct it right here select folder click apply and now starnet should be working to test it out I'll open up a file doesn't really matter what type of file it is as long as it's a uh, astronomical images image with some stars and you can go to the star processing starnet starnet removal as uh, this is still a linear image so it's unstretched we're going to press pre-stretch linear image and there are a couple of other options so for example upscale if you have a very much so undersampled image it might be worth it to upscale but it will double the time and uh, it takes custom stride don't touch it it's not worth it uh, i would just suggest the default value and then you have recompose stars on completion if you don't plan on doing any other processing with your stars or with your um, normal image you can recompose I don't do it normally because I like to process the stars first and process the starless version and then recombine starless and, and the stars generate star mask do this one I would suggest because then you get a, a star uh, the, the star mask and the starless version so we'll execute it as you can see it has just finished Starnet, it has spit out the Starless version right here and it has also spit out the Star Mask which is right here in your work, working directory. Um, I hope you found this video useful um, and I will see you in the next one. Clear skies.